12 minutes after nine, a big change happening at the Shield Museum this summer, plus an opportunity to get up close to some of the animals that call the museum home. Veronica D'Amelio and Tiffany Stewart are here with us this morning from the Shield Museum. How are you both? I'm doing fantastic. Yes. Doing great. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just jump right in. First of all, I just said to you, how come when I see this guy, girl, sorry, girl, <laughs> Penny, um, in this room, I feel totally happy and comfortable, but when I see Penny running across the road in front of my car, <laughs> it's a whole different story. Tell us about this sweet, sweet sure. girl. Sure, so Penny is about a year old and she's an unreleasable rehab, uh, which essentially just means that uh, her rehabbers uh, that rescued her from the wild determined that she wasn't appropriate to be re-released into the wild. So now she lives at the Shield Museum as one of our animal ambassadors. She is a Virginia opossum, yeah? yes? What do we need to know about her? Uh, well, opossums are, you know, frequently seen as scary animals, but they're really wonderful uh, animals and they're mostly bark, uh, not, not so much bite, um, so they're kind of shy, mm -hmm. uh, although Penny here is not. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's like, knows a secret. Like oh, her yeah. little face is like, mm -hmm, I know a secret. <laughs> and then this one, I've never seen or heard of this kind of animal before. Yeah, so this is Thistle, our uh, Madagascar hedgehog Tenric. Um, he looks like a hedgehog, but yeah. is not a hedgehog. They're actually more closely related to elephants. Um, Elephants? Wait a minute. Yes, uh, and they're only found on the island of Madagascar and nowhere else. How are they closely related to an elephant? Uh, so if you look at uh, like the evolutionary tree, yeah. these guys split off from elephants around 60 million years ago and split off from hedgehogs about 100 million years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, now that makes total sense <laughs> yeah. to me. Um, how is the eyesight on both of these animals? Uh, so neither of them have particularly good eyesight. Okay. That's a similarity between the two. Uh, they both navigate mostly by hearing and with their very good sense of smell. They are really, really cool, and they're very interested in each other. Which oh, I yes, enjoy they are. <laughs> These are two of the animals that you can learn about at the Shield Museum. You all do some really cool keeper talks throughout the summer. Tell me about those. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so uh, August through July, we have both keeper talks, which will be about some of our indoor animals, and farm friends, uh, which will be teaching people about our farm animals. Um, and you'll get to meet them and potentially interact with a few of them um, and see feeding and just learn about them. What is the difference when people get to get up close and personal with some of these animals? It's okay, baby. Um, and, as opposed to seeing them in a book or behind a piece of glass. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's more real and like you, you know, you see them from a distance and they seem a little scary, but uh, up close and personal, you realize maybe that there's a lot more to them than what just their appearance. Penny is hilarious to me. Oh, yeah, Absolutely she is hilarious. sniffing everything. She loves this. <laughs> she is so cool. Her tail feels exactly like you think it will, by the way. Oh, hello. Did you want to grab my hand? Okay, we can all dance. Um, along with everything that you always have during the summer, which is really wonderful at the Shield Museum, you guys made a little bit of news yesterday because of your T-Rex. Everybody that's been knows the T-Rex right yes. there. Yes as you walk in the door, but the T-Rex is being moved. Yes, yeah, so it's our iconic T-Rex that is right in the lobby of the museum, and uh, we're making some changes, so he's going to go away for a while. Um, he's being removed, repositioned, and he'll reappear um, in a while as part of a huge series of changes we're making at the museum. Exciting changes. Yeah, really exciting. What's going to go in that place in the interim, do we know? So that's under wraps uh -huh. right now, but it will be unveiled uh, late September. Okay. And uh, I think people will not be disappointed by the change. Uh, so we did a little bit of a deep dive this morning about the repositioning of the T-Rex mm -hmm. and why that's important. Yes. Talk a little bit about that because I think that's really cool. Yeah, so I think a lot of us think of a T-Rex as this dopey creature with tiny little arms yeah. running around <laughs> upright and uh, over, well, T-Rex, our T-Rex has been in the lobby since 2000, so in the past 23 years, scientists have made some discoveries about dinosaurs that are really exciting and different than what we first thought, and so uh, we believe that T-Rex is probably a little more agile, a little more mobile, Definitely fierce. Um, not sure if he's a predator or a scavenger still, ah. but uh, we want to reflect those changes in the best way we can at the museum. Well, it's really, really cool. If you haven't been to the Shield, I really recommend it. They have so much more than you think that they would, and it's a really great way to spend a day, especially in the summer. Uh, Thistle and Penny, you both did great. Uh, Penny, I mean, maybe show us your, <laughs> your front side. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> 
We were getting Penny's backside for a second. Oh, yeah. Thank you both for being here Thank and helping us. Thank you so much for having us. us today. I mean, look at this town. Mary, I'm into it. I, I know. I, I dig it. I love the way it wraps. I dig it. I love it.